Hello everyone and welcome to Alyssa's Precious Hair Bows. Today I'm going to do a tutorial on how to make a two inch uh, image, um, circle image. Um, I figured I'd make them because my daughter's birthday is coming up and I had to do it anyway so I figured why not do a tutorial. Um, what I'm going to use my images for are as stickers to put place on her goodie bags as thank you for coming to my birthday party type thing. So, um, and I've gotten a couple requests on how to do two images, uh, two inch images. I've never done them on GIMP, but I'm guessing it's the same thing as you would do with the one inch circle, just make them an inch bigger. So I'm going to be using Photoshop Elements, and like I've said before in my previous video, I'm in love with Photoshop Elements um, <clears throat> 11 because it's a little easier and doesn't have very many windows to open up, and it's just a whole lot easier than GIMP. And it doesn't freeze up on me all the time. So anyway, here's my tutorial. First you want to open up uh, Photoshop Elements. I already have that open. And I already have my document open. Since mine are going to be on stickers, um, I went to File, New, Blank File. <clears throat> and since mine, like I said, mine are on uh, stickers. It, my sheet is an 8 by 10. 8 by 11 and a half. So what you want to do is if your sheet is eight and a half, eight by eleven and a half, you want to go and switch the ten to eleven point five, and um, and then hit OK. I already have mine open, so I'm gonna hit cancel. Okay. The next thing you want to do is you want to go into your web browser, go to your images. My daughter's birthday party is Lala Loopsy, so I'm gonna be using this little Lala Loopsy doll, and I'm gonna hit copy image. Then go back to Photoshop. Then I'm going to go to the edit bar and get a paste. Now I want to scale it. Scale it to where I want it. And hit OK. Now I want to go to the marquee tool. Now since I've been doing bottle cap images, it's at, at 2 in to uh, at 1.03. So I'm going to hit delete and put two. Two. Now I want to, well that didn't do it right. I have no idea what I did wrong. Maybe the image is just too small. So what I want to do is go back to edit, marquee tool, and then I want to go back to the little move tool, and I want to Minimize it a little bit more. And that should be fine. Then I want to go back to the marquee tool. And it's already set at 2 inches. So I want to put the circle there. Now the next thing I want to do is I want to put a little, um, I want to put like a little outline around it. So you'll see, you go to edit. Uh, yeah, edit. Stroke outline selection. Now, since this little, I think her name is Specs, reads a lot. Uh, since she is like an orange, blackish, I want to do an orange outline. So, I want to do that color. Maybe not that color. That color. Then hit OK. To add 25. Um, oh, it's so blurry. There we go. You want to do it at 25 px pixels, and then hit OK. And there is your outline. Now you want to go to Select, Inverse, Delete, and there you have your specs reads a lot. Then you want to move the image, and then you want to go over to the layer, duplicate layer. Hit OK and move your image. And there you have your two inch bottle cap images. Now, let me show you something else. If you want to, you can go back and put file paste. Oh. And we're gonna Marquee tool. Oh, sorry. 
Hmm. Now, if you want to add some te text to it and put, like, thank you for coming, you want to go over to the text bar, text tool bar, and uh, I have it set too high, and you want to put, we'll say 10, and then you want to drag your text bar, and you want to type in, oops, sorry. Think. Yeah. And it looks a little small, so we might move it up a couple inches. It just it has to be able to fit in here. So maybe even just a little more. So I'm going to go back to your... Even I can't see that. 16. And it's going to be small because, it, like I said, it has to fit in the circle. Two inch circle. So you hit the marquee and you go back. And you hit select inverse delete. Now, <clears throat> you want to add another layer here. Then you want to click on the marquee tool. And you want to click around this little circle. You want to make sure that it stays in there. And you want to go to file, stroke outline. It's where we have it set there. You just hit OK. Then you go to select, inverse, delete. Sorry guys, those are my kids in the background. <laughs> um, and then you want to go over here. And you want to check that. You want to check that. Check that. And check that. And you want to go to um, layer layer up there and you want to go to merge linked and they're all if you can see they're all merged now so you want to go now to the move tool and move your thing and you go back to duplicate layer and you move over and there you have your image now, I know it's hard for me. You can tell that I missed some orange there, here and there. But that's because I can't really see with, through my phone. It looks very blurry, very blurry. So, but you get the idea of how to do it. Um, so, thank you for watching. And if you want more uh, tutorials, please let me know. Thank you.